By the powers vested in me as Vice-Chancellor and Principal, I hereby constitute this assembly as a legal congregation of the University of Pretoria. During this assembly, degrees and diplomas with all the associated rights and privileges will be conferred and awarded to the candidates whose names appear in the program. We request all of you to join us in silent prayer or meditation to give thanks for the achievements of our students. As Vice Chancellor and Principal of the University of Pretoria, I extend a hearty word of welcome to you at this virtual graduation ceremony. I would like to welcome our honorary doctors, Mr. Abdullah Ibrahim and Mr. Mfundi Vonja, the Dean and the Deputy Dean of the Faculty, along with all persons to whom degrees and diplomas will be conferred and awarded to. We also welcome families, friends and spouses to this virtual graduation ceremony. This is the third virtual graduation ceremony the university has held in the past year after we were obliged to depart from the traditional graduation format as a result of COVID-19 pandemic, which as you know, has made large physical gatherings impossible for the time being. Our first virtual graduation season commenced just 10 days after the declaration of the national state of disaster towards the end of March 2020. It was memorable, not only for that sobering reason, but also for a more agreeable one. During those first virtual ceremonies, the University of Pretoria conferred 11,001 qualifications on graduates in absentia. This was a record number for the university and one of the largest graduating cohorts, if not the largest in South Africa at the time. I'm delighted to share with you that the autumn 2021 graduation season is now breaking that record. In this graduation season, we'll be conferring a total of 11,424 qualifications, including 198 doctorates and 1,289 master's degrees. This is a great achievement, especially in these uncertain and unpredictable times. Such an achievement is simply magnificent. I mean this on two levels. One is the outstanding personal effort you put into persevering with your studies when normal study routines and methodologies had suddenly been upended. And I'll say more about this later. The other level concerns the collective contribution of this graduating cohort to the skills of our country and more broadly our continent. Compared to the rest of the world, South Africa and Africa as a, as a whole have very low graduation rates per capita, a state of affairs that perpetually widens the scale gap. The fact that we at the University of Pretoria are now graduating such a large number of cohort of graduates is good news indeed for the development of our country and the continent. But this welcome injection of skills is not only about numbers. Just as important are the kinds of skills and the quality of skills that you, our graduates, will be bringing with you into whatever career or study pathway you choose to pursue from this point. For instance, the University of Pretoria students once again excelled in the ITC, the initial test of competence, which is the first professional exam for prospective chartered accountants. In November 2020, students from our Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences again achieved first position in South Africa. This feat followed on the first place we achieved in the January 2020 ITC, when an unprecedented seven out of the top 10 students in the country were from this university. In addition, UP won the 2020 Chartered Institute of Management Accountants SEMA Prize Winner Excellence Award, as well as the Institute's Global Excellence Award at its first ever virtual award ceremony. These awards recognize university partners with top performing SEMA students in case study exams, as well as university partners that have achieved the highest pass rates for SEMA exams. What makes these accomplishments even more special is that our students excelled despite the disruption of having their ITC exam deferred from June 2020 to November 2020 owing to lockdown regulations. 
Well done to everyone of you who was part of this incredible effort. Not content with notching up all the accomplishments I've just listed, we are also making history. One of our PhD graduates, Dr. Tumeka Mashova Raimudzisi, is the first black female chartered accountant to receive a PhD in leadership. This is a noteworthy achievement, testament to your commitment and dedication. Congratulations. If time permitted, which it unfortunately does not, there will be many other examples of achievement under pressure that I could share with you as testimony to the resilience and endurance of the human spirit. In my book, every one of you has shown resilience and endurance during unprecedented turbulence and upheaval. The university is proud of you all. All your hard work, tenacity and resilience has helped to get you to this point. Yes, the Institute certainly played its part. As the Vice Chancellor and Principal of the University of Pretoria, I know what efforts and energies were invested in keeping the academic program going and enabling our students to succeed during the most protected campus closures in our history. But what stands out for me is not the effort UP made in rolling out laptops and remote learning technologies, so much as the skills you our graduates gained from the experience. For our graduates to make a difference in society, they need to be creative, flexible, resilient, entrepreneurial, and collaborative. I can state with confidence that this graduating cohort has these qualities in abundance. They will serve you and our country well. The university too has learned a lot from this pandemic. As you know, our preferred mode of teaching and learning before this health crisis has been the hybrid approach, a delivery model that makes use of traditional classroom-based learning tools supplemented by online and technology-supported activities. On the strength of our experiences online during this pandemic, we are reimagining the modes of teaching and learning that we are adopting for the future. Teaching and learning are going to be interesting spaces for innovation, creativity and experimentation. Above all, we aim to provide a rich interactive experience that is educative and not just instructional, and which results in well-educated, skilled, socially engaged and sensitive graduates eager to transform our society, our continent and the world. We also aim to enable students to become graduates who can engage in lifelong learning where they unlearn and relearn. In this way, they can navigate the emerging world of work that is an outcome of multiple disruptions of the life and the world as we know it, including the disruptions caused by rapid technological change. In the near future, we'll be launching a center for the study of the future of work. Allow me to touch briefly on the disruptions you, our graduates, experienced during your studies in 2020. I know that all of you were affected by the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic while you were studying. However, what I and my colleagues at the university do not necessarily know is what trials and tribulations you individually and personally experience while completing your qualification. We do not know the, what difficulties and distractions were going on around you while you were studying for that crucial test or writing or revising the next chapter of your thesis or dissertation or what additional responsibilities you took on in your living space and with regard to your loved ones while soldiering through your year of completion. Were you perhaps one of the many South Africans separated from loved ones as a result of traveling restrictions and border closures? What personal sadnesses and sufferings and hardships did you endure as a result of COVID or otherwise in that most crucial time of your studies? Did you suffer loss of family and close ones, friends, fellow students, or colleagues? My colleagues and I cannot know what your lived experience was as you told to complete your degree, diploma, or certificate. What we do know without a shadow of doubt is that your success is hard won and deeply deserved. Earning a qualification from the University of Pretoria is an achievement to cherish. Any qualifications in the time of COVID-19 
is in a class of its own. You, together with the 11,001 graduates of autumn 2020 and the 1,380 graduates of summer 2020 are unique. You have succeeded and we celebrate your achievement today. On behalf of the broader community of the University of Pretoria, please accept my heartfelt congratulations. Your graduation ceremony is your moment of triumph to savor, celebrate, share with family and friends, and remember for the rest of your life. We hope to one day return to physical graduation ceremonies where graduates can walk across the stage in the presence of family and friends and take photographs. For now, virtual graduation ceremonies such as these play an indispensable role in your journey with the university. This is because a virtual graduation is a legally constituted assembly that enables you to formally graduate so that you can receive your certificate and use it to open whatever doors you have intended to unlock, whether in the form of further studies, course at the University of Pretoria, or in your career or profession. May it lead you to more opportunities and serve you well. Turning now to the future, in the same way that you and your fellow graduates are on the stage of the next stage of fulfilling your dreams for your life, so is the University of Pretoria. As I briefly mentioned earlier, we've been using the challenges presented by the global health pandemic to begin rethinking, reimagining, and repositioning the university itself. The university can play an essential role in co-creating the country and continent we want post-COVID-19. Here at the University of Pretoria, we see an opportunity to be one of the agents and drivers of change in Africa and globally, finding and deploying innovative ways to address poverty, unemployment, inequality, and social injustice. UP, as you know, is a hub for new ideas. When it comes to COVID-19 research, we are involved at multiple levels. We are researching genome profiles to be able to identify who in the population is at higher risk of contracting fatal viruses and other diseases. We are also researching how people in society behave during a pandemic. Because if we don't understand this, we cannot manage the spread optimally. We participated in international COVID-19 clinical trials and produced sanitizers, face masks, and face shields. Our Faculty of Health Sciences quickly incorporated COVID-19 into the primary health care curriculum. This is how we will need to respond to pandemics in the future, with rapid responses focused on multi-sectoral interventions. For example, our university is the only representative from Africa in the new University Social Responsibility Network, an international group of 16 top universities. And last year, the Times Higher Education's impact rankings rated UP among the top 100 universities in the world for its social and economic impact in three categories based on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, otherwise known as the SDGs. These are quality education, industry, innovation and infrastructure, and peace, justice, and strong institutions. We envisage a better, more sustainable world characterized by prosperity, genuine democracy, peace, equity and equality, social justice, and ethical use of all resources. And we are convinced we can co-create this just new way through high quality hybrid teaching together with transdisciplinary research and social engagement that is impactful. And of course, this co-creation must harness the collective expertise, energies, and goodwill of our family of alumni, among whom you, the season's graduates, can now be counted. As the new alumni of the Investor of Pretoria, remember the values from UP to always strive for excellence, persevere, respect everyone, be creative, innovate, embrace diversity, grow, be a lifelong learner, be kind, and make a difference every day. This is what makes the UP way of life. I appeal to you to be part of our quest to rethink, reimagine, and reposition the Investor of Pretoria and in so doing, contribute to the co-creation of the Africa we want. Please take the next step by downloading the UP Connect 
Graduate Up, keeping you connected to your alma mater and offering access to the many opportunities available to our alumni wherever in the world you are. Remember to always keep in contact with the alumni office at UP and let us know when your contact details change. No matter where you end up in the world, remember that you are part of the UP family, whose overarching strength is its diversity in terms of staff, students, the programs offered, and areas of research that define its excellence. We're an institution on its way to become a beacon for demographic diversity and inclusivity, a future-oriented and focused university that is a driver of social change. Congratulations on your graduation and enjoy the celebrations with your loved ones. Take pride in the sense of achievement that comes with knowing that you have excelled against all odds. I now request the Dean to introduce to me the candidate for the Honorary Doctrine. Mr. Vice-Chancellor and Principal, I have the honour to introduce you to Mr. Abdullah Ibrahim for the conferment of the degree Doctor of Music Honoris Causa. Abdullah Ibrahim is South Africa's most distinguished jazz pianist and a world-respected master musician. Out of a blend of the secular and religious, the traditional and the modern, he developed the distinctive style, harmonies and musical vocabulary that are inimitably his own. He was at the forefront of playing bebop with a Cape Town flavor and was a key figure in defining South African jazz. His groundbreaking septet, the Jazz Epistles, formed in 1959 with saxophonist Kipi Moketsi, trumpeter Hugh Masekela, trombonist Jonas Gwanga, bassist Johnny Goetze, and drummer Makai and Shoko recorded the first jazz album by South African musicians. In 1967, he received a Rockefeller Foundation grant to attend the Juilliard School of Music. While in the United States, he interacted with the leaders of modern jazz, including Don Cherry, Ornette Coleman, John Coltrane, Pharaoh Sanders, Cecil Taylor, and Archie Shepp. In 1974, he recorded Mannenberg is where it's happening, which became an unofficial national anthem during the apartheid struggle. Ibrahim has composed scores for film, including the award-winning soundtrack for Claire Dennis's Chocolat in 1988, as well as for No Fear, No Die in 1990, and Idrissa Odrago's Tilei in 1990, and he was featured in the 2002 production, Amandla, A Revolution in Four-Part Harmony. For more than 25 years, he has extensively toured the world and appeared at major concert halls, clubs and festivals, giving sellout performances as a solo artist and collaborator. His collaborations with orchestras have resulted in acclaimed recordings such as African Suite in 1999 with the European Union Youth Orchestra and the Munich Radio Philharmonic Orchestra symphonic version African Symphony in 2001, which also featured the trio and the NDR Jazz Big Band. His discography runs to well over 100 album credits. In addition to composing and performing, Abdullah Ibrahim has established the M7 Music Academy, offering courses in seven disciplines to educate young minds and bodies. In 2006, he spearheaded the historic creation, backed by the South African Ministry of Arts and Culture, of the Cape Town Jazz Orchestra, an 18-piece big band, which is set to further strengthen the standing of South African music on the global stage. Mr. Vice-Chancellor and Principal, I request you to confer the honorary doctorate on the candidate. I hereby confer the degree of Doctor of Music honoris causa with all the rights and privileges on Mr. Abdullah Ibrahim. I have the honor of requesting our honorary doctorate to deliver their address.
Did you hear that sound? Did you hear that sound? So many theories, so many theories of East and West abound. So many theories of, of East and West abound. One thing is certain though, the Earth is round. Did you hear that sound? Did you hear that sound?
Thank you, Mr. Abdullah Ibrahim, for your address. I now request the Dean to introduce to me the candidate for the honorary doctorate. Mr. Vice-Chancellor and Principal, I have the honour to introduce you to Mr. Mfundi Wundler for the conferment of the degree Doctor of Literature Honoris Causa. Mfundi Wundler is founder and chair of Morula Pictures. Over a five decade long career, this former chairperson of the Independent Producers Organization and the National Film and Video Foundation created an enduring legacy as a titan and icon of the South African entertainment industry. His contributions run across the visual and performing arts landscape of South Africa, from film to television and theater. His work across these media reflects his political consciousness and commitment to social change in South Africa. He has produced feature films locally, such as the comedy Soweto Green in 1995, as well as internationally as executive producer of the co-production In My Country in 2004. For his contributions to television, the SABC awarded Wundler the Golden Plume Award in 2006. He is creator and executive producer of the popular long-running SABC television soap opera Generations, as well as drama series Josie H and the animated series Magic Cellar. He wrote the plays Widows and A Visitor to the Felt for the Stage, both performed in New York that engaged South African politics. He helped found the African Arts Fund, which aimed to finance black, Indian and colored artists traveled to the United States to study fine arts. He was the librettist for the chamber opera Hani in 2010. Through his creative and business endeavors as anti-apartheid activist and arts entrepreneur, Wundler has had a profound and lasting impact on the South African arts and entertainment industries. Mr. Vice-Chancellor and Principal, I request you to confer the honorary doctorate on the candidate. I hereby confer the degree Doctor of Literature Honoris Causa with all the rights and privileges on Mr. Mfundi Vunja. I have the honor of requesting our honorary doctorate to deliver their address. If we agree with the theme in Kirapazi Hosicila's poem, The Present is a Dangerous Place. We must remind ourselves another great poet, Langston Hughes, addressed a similar social situation. The two poets spoke to the suppression of human dignity and progress of their people. Langston Hughes asks, what happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up? like a raisin in the sun, or fester like a saw, and the run? Does it stink like rotten meat, or crust and sugar over like syrupy sweet? Maybe it just sags like a heavy load, or does it explode? Will our democracy explode into ruins? Our Republic, South Africa, currently finds itself in a dysfunctional state due to a destructive factionalism in the ruling party and subsequently in government. The economy is stagnant, there is massive unemployment, social services have become almost moribund, corruption is deep and pervasive, the state institutions are in need of repair and there is general despondency and uncertainty that forebodes a failed state. The COVID-19 epidemic has not only exposed the government's underbelly, but has exacerbated the perilous condition in which the country finds itself. There are certainly myriad reasons for the condition we find ourselves in. The most obvious 
is our historical legacy. But the finger must be pointed at our current incompetent, weakened, unaccountable, distracted, directionless and clueless government under the leadership of President Cyril Ramaphosa. The current leadership simply does not inspire. Clearly, it cannot be left to government and politicians alone to steer the country towards development and prosperity. We, you, must ensure our country is not stolen from us by power-hungry ruling party miscreants who are bent on seizing power by any means necessary. The media and judiciary have until now been the bulwark against further state failure. Our people watch their future, their aspirations for a better life, threatened by a leadership that has lost its way. There is a vicious fight back campaign by an apparent strident minority whose objectives are self-interest, avoidance of accountability, jail time, and retention of ill-gotten wealth. This has weakened the current government, which is incapable of telling friend from foe. There clearly is a need to step up and move the scurrilous noises that appear to predominate, and this can only come from individual men and women of integrity, young people, and civil society. We cannot watch impassively as the Republic melts down. True to the South African way, intervention and consensus seeking is urgently called for. Decisive and fearless leadership is now urgently called for. The president needs to be told that the broad mass of South Africans wish him well and want him to succeed. That he is first and foremost the president of the Republic of South Africa. That he must live up to his oath of office, which says inter alia, I will be faithful to the Republic of South Africa and will obey, observe and uphold and maintain the constitution and all other laws of the Republic. Promote all that will advance the Republic and oppose all that may harm it. Discharge my duties with all my strength and talents and true to the dictates of my conscience. President Ramaphosa must be reminded that he has a number of constitutional options at his disposal, including a call for new elections to dislodge those bent on sending the Republic down the abyss. He must act decisively without fear or favor. Nothing less is expected of him. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mfundi Mvunja, for your address. I hereby confer and award all degrees and diplomas in absentia with the associated rights and privileges to all candidates whose names appear in the graduation program. Doctor of Philosophy Drama Emil Horhoff Thesis Embodied Shifting to Bridge Actor-Character Dissonance Supervisor Professor M. Kutsia Co-Supervisor Professor M. M. S. Munro Master of Arts Digital Culture and Media Martin Giebler Fine Arts Octavia Ruet with distinction Information Design Gideon Nell with distinction Visual Studies Matete Pala Courtney Tink with distinction Master of Drama Marlene Greer with distinction. Master of Music. 
Music Education Sarah Green Atosa Kalili with distinction Music Therapy Jessica Lanzard with distinction Kelsey Schroeder Musicology Joshua Budan with distinction Tamlin Hawker Annika Hale Performing Art Ryan Kirsten with distinction James Barazza with distinction Mort Marie Sneiman Bachelor of Arts Honors Drama and Film Studies Kefense Dlamini Stephen Finn with distinction Raisecha Marke Tara Martin with distinction Samukelisiwe Mbele Musa Njaba Mashlodi Pesa Jessica Shannon Nicole Somoza Medina Dimpo Tushuane Music Ross Honde Tamsaka Mashlangu Mulapo Mulapo Janelle Moore with distinction Mapula Tsatsi Visual Studies Sterling Blunden with distinction Ashley Bruce Kellen Davies with distinction Daniel Khusen with distinction Kimberly Mulman Mvuyo Ngele Unati Shongwe Bachelor of Music Honors Teboho Kobedi with distinction Bachelor of Arts Fine Arts Katia Alfonso Ilsa Buet Claudia Brown Tatum Catano Stephanie Devet Georgina Gloss with distinction Sipumelele Gumede with distinction Roy Haug Shannon Jones Megan Creer Mika Lochendijk Carabo Mbele Jessica Patton Carol Preston Cara Reinicke Marie van der Merwe Sheldon Lee van Ikerk Najma Williams Information Design Dylan Bjengstrom Henriette Boerta Natalie Comrie with distinction Dorothy Dick Kaylee Ellebeck with distinction Nadine Evans with distinction Luke Garriok with distinction Callum Garricka Michaela Hancock with distinction Melissa Janse van Rensberg Kyla Janse van Furen with distinction Chloe Labaskagni Dian Labaskagni with distinction Sari Lo Matiba Mamabolo with distinction Tenet Marie with distinction Daniela Mosca with distinction Melissa Muller Kaylin Naidu Thomas Nodia with distinction Charlene Roth 
Ashley Ruan Nele Schaefer with distinction Johnny Skiepers Danielle Schroeder Lindiwe Sebona with distinction Sarah Thompson Marguerite Turpin with distinction Luisa von Rensberg Christine van Weyck Jan Dirk Fasachi with distinction Cory Withoft with distinction Law Chelsea Chisango Ntomizonke Makatini Lenka Malachi Bushle Mia Cajiso Mojapelo Lesedi Nape Sipiwe Ntiantia Naledi Sepeng Charlotte Sesoko Ruben Stein Babalo Temba Ashley Trotsky Nomfundo Zonke with distinction Meral Ak Samantha Anderson Michelle Antonio with distinction Abigail Ashfield with distinction Kerry Bailey Brandon Ball Temwa Banda Marinus Barnado Precious Baxter Caitlin Benjamin with distinction Wilhelm Baranche with distinction Ropafazzo Beta Alonzo Bukas Juhi Bana Pedro Box Natasha Boysen with distinction Heinrich Bornmann with distinction Heidi Boeta with distinction Tevin Brogdon Pamela Burr Caitlin May Carter with distinction Natasha Chapman with distinction Marceline Chihanga Tamanda Chimwendo Kyle Clutter with distinction Bianca Debrain Stefan Debrain Jordan De Caris Claudia De Castro Tenille De Villiers Courtney Duves Nihanka Durant Christelle Duvenacher with distinction Kirsten Ilof with distinction Gemma Evans with distinction Nicole Fouché with distinction Bridget Geyer with distinction Jade Gussen Enrique Grief with distinction Jessica Green with distinction Tirajalo Guebu Stephanie Hector Kendall Hewson Julia Hughes Tristan Hussey Simei Janssen van Rensberg Donne January Lance Jenkins Cynthia Kanyunyumala Masejo Kekana Letzabo Chapola Boitumelo Kola Andiswa Kibi Terence Kobe Ruche Kuvergi Jason Lane with distinction Shanette Langa Bontle Ledwaba Naledi Lekena with distinction 
Jemima Lelu Mahadi Lepozo Zanri Lenstrom with distinction Jakobus Lowe Refilwe Mabocha with distinction Yanga Madiba Kyarapetse Mashlangu with distinction Nkobile Mashlangu Tobeka Makama Kundainashe Makanza Pindulo Makhato with distinction Tato Makhetle Tutukile Makatini Tuikana Malakalaka Kiamohetswe Maleka Samokeliso Malemane Tabang Mamadisha Chemwemwe Mangani with distinction Meyanka Maniram Lara Marnevek with distinction Nkubeko Maseko Johannes Maselela Orabile Mashigo Nokwanda Masondo Lebo Matebula Nyiko Matebula Simbogiseni Matebula Homolemo Matibe Blossom Matizirofa Mashoto Matlau Paulina Matsika Sinentlantla Mbele Nozinkle Mbuyane with distinction Rory McCarthy Ntabiseng Medupe Carl Mayer with distinction Mpolintle Meiwa Machepo Mchachai Tichlamariso Mchiba Akudzwe Mhangami Ranzu Mchlanga Cameron Miller Chanel Miller Dylan Miller Tulasizwe Mkonza Nomtrebo Nisi with distinction Ntokozo Nisi with distinction Light Jethro Moache Basetsana Mohajane Kanyane Mokwena Petahatso Molefe Hotsuone Molewa Homotsehang Molokome Mpo Monamodi Ontlametse Monso Mikaela Mudli Kudzai Muchandibaya with distinction Chepizo Muizi Kajal Mulchandani with distinction Nokulunga Belase Melinda Maynard Similise Mzinyati with distinction Natasha Naidu Robin Naidu Shannon Nordia Zinzile Ndlovu with distinction Lauren Ndlovu Samantha Nell Julienne Nestler Bonginkosi Gwenya Nokutula Gwenya Sizwe Gwenya Caitlin Nimand Banati Nkeli with distinction Mbali Nkomu Mbali Nkosi Hilary Nkuna Precious Ntuli 
Nobushle Nyembe. Wandile Nzuza, with distinction. Rowena Og. Elisma Westeisen. Brent Peterson, with distinction. Zodwa Pashlane. Claire Pickford, with distinction. Louis Pinar. Nevishka Pele. Christian Potchiter. Jolene Pretorius, with distinction. Zander Pretorius, with distinction. Gabriella Purificati, with distinction. Nabila Rahman. Setsana Rantau. Gregor Reed. Jared Risu, with distinction. Tegan Rocha. Mudiwa Runyowa, with distinction. Zakia Salaji. Abigail Salzwedel. Hannah Samasuo. Anton Skippers, with distinction. Mashlojo Senong. Sindisiwe Shabalala. Nonchlantla Shabangu. Tazkia Sahid Jusup. Sile Indile Sibanda. Chomotso Sibisi. Pindile Sibia. Sintrobile Sibia. Dineo Sindane. Enrique Singh. Iante Sipsma. Luvuyo Sitsila. Asanda Scosana. Colin Scosana with distinction. Luchelle Slabbert. Darren Smith with distinction. Michelle Smith with distinction. Tiffany Smith with distinction. Elena Snyman. Savannah Stopford with distinction. Kim Lee Strubel. Leticia Stradom. Noel Swanapu. Alessia Today with distinction. Ledinguana Teca. Milan Thompson. Julia Tossi with distinction. Naleli Tsika. Sumaya Turk. Azra Valley. Richard van Kuferden de Groot. Laura van der Spey. Kaelin van Dijk with distinction. Bernadette van Rensberg. Rulof van Rensberg. Danielle van Tonder. Dominique Vary. Yasmine Fenter. Juliette Vermeulen with distinction. Claire Veillera with distinction. Ntombizodwa Vilakazi. Savannah von Grafenitz with distinction. Lauren Weber with distinction. Kirsten Weber. Melanie Vessels. Katharina Veed. Bonginkosi Zama. Visual Studies. Alicia Annandale with distinction. Celeste Annandale with distinction. Holly Armstrong with distinction. 
Luke Bainbridge Gareth Chivasa Courtney Donaldson with distinction Genera do Carmo Ferreira Leita with distinction Anka Garnett Burnett Erin Hepplewhite Sabrina Jardim with distinction Megan Kane Berman with distinction Boitumelo Gense Ashley Lotta with distinction Mpo Ndluli Lerato Moshweshwe Iniso Pungula Megan Pele Tseleng Chabalala Roda Tsiwilowilo Cassia van Dijk Lenel van Ikerk Fine Arts Simone Meyer with distinction Information Design Hendrik Grief Tashwinwa Hitun Rene Lightfoot Mampeni Mosako Tamika Scrivens Suzanne van den Hever Bachelor of Drama Alicia Bodenhorst Bridget Baranski Anzel de Beer Jessica de Caires with distinction Chloe Erasmus Elisa Marie Furi with distinction Hendrik Giesen Caitlin Groves with distinction Carrick Keating with distinction Aidan Lawrence Dineo Mohao Shamiga Makaku Posisa Mankoba Bethan Martel Musa Mukhadi Bocamoso Mosiakoko Sean Monday Taona Munyarazzi Krizan Nal Sofia Olifir Dominique Parkins Mignon Pretorius Mazanga Sikita with distinction Kukanya Simelane with distinction Rachel van Rensberg Borand Fisser Mia Forster Bachelor of Music Chloe Boeta with distinction Stephanie Claire Hansen with distinction Kuluba Letiane George Lombard Megan Marks with distinction Timothy Pallet with distinction Mochwane Pege with distinction Carla Riedelingais with distinction Yolandi Scarp with distinction Ryan Slotto Zoe Vanikerk Emil Vermullen with distinction Achievement Awards Historical Association Award for Heritage and Cultural Tourism Genera de Carmo Ferreira Leital J. L. van Skyk Prize for History Banati Nkeli Sakabula Prize for Heritage and Cultural Tourism Genera do Carmo Ferreira Leitao Let us give our graduates a big hand for their hard work and perseverance. I would like to thank the families, friends and spouses for supporting our graduates during their studies. 
We have now come to the end of the proceedings. Please join us in singing the national anthem. By the powers vested in me, I hereby dissolve this assembly of the University of Pretoria. Gaudiamus